when I'm on set, it's like a feeling I can't even explain, honestly. It's like a mixture of emotions, a mixture of being nervous about it at the same time, but excited because you're trying to create something that you envision in your mind and bring it to life. It's just unreal sometimes. I didn't have a Every photo shoot could be completely unpredictable. I mean, it's not something you could just pre-analyze and prepare yourself for. It's something that more like you have to actually be there to feel the emotions and the vibes of the people, the energy, and you just gotta be willing and being able to adapt to whatever's thrown at you and make the best out of it and capture these moments that will never be lived again. My name is David Diaz, I'm 30 years old, and I live in Boyle Heights in California. I am a professional photographer and videographer, and I'm also a full-time father to the most amazing son I could ever ask for. I remember being in the delivery room the day he was born. I had my camera phone on my hand, and I was anticipating whether I was going to be a father to a boy or a girl. And that same day, at about 4.09 p.m., my best friend was born. David Jacob Diaz III. I made it a point to practice my photography and take pictures of my son every month with a different theme and capture every special moment we shared together or we had or whether it was good or bad. So when he grows up, he could look back and see what his childhood was like while he was growing up. My son is three years old now. It amazes me how time flies by so fast. It seems as though it was just yesterday. I had my son on my arms and I was putting him to sleep. But now my baby has grown into this amazing three-year-old kid who has just so much energy and joy and such an amazing character is unreal. And I can honestly say he is my motivation and he's who inspired me into pursuing my dream in photography and videography. He is who made me who I am today. I think I forgot to mention a big major part of this whole video. I think I forgot to mention the part where how I got into photography in the first place. I woke up to a 